Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, Q by Q Breakdown. Due to copyright reasons, the full Q won't be played, but rather highlights showcasing the different themes and ideas. Check out my previous video on the theme names and letters that I referred to, and note that composers are unconfirmed for each Q. With that, grab your bottle of rum and let's dive in. 1M2 through 4, Fogbound. This opening cue, scored by Claus Battelt, introduces us to a handful of Leso and later Leso Do motifs, along with our pan flute sound. There's also clave clicks that come back later. And we do get theme N as well. Q1M5, Smitten Will, scored by Ramin Javadi, introduces us to theme C or the love theme. One M six Captain Jack Sparrow, scored by Claus Battle, introduces us to four themes. The opening on Jack is Jack's theme. The shot of the hung pirates is the pirates' death theme. The third theme that only appears here in the movie is a faster version of the pirates' death music so it doesn't make too much sense. It then transitions back to Jack's theme before ending on the mischievous and trickery theme at the dock. What? Oh, 2M9, Corset Problems, scored by Claus Battelt, starts with the fa le so, the only time I heard this in the movie. But then we get another occurrence of the mischievous theme when the camera is back on Jack. Mm -hmm. 2M10, No Real Ship, scored by Steve Jablonski, opens with a minor third interval. We then get our Legends theme. To M12, Elizabeth Falls and the Medallion Calls. Scored by Ramin Javadi, has a quick nod to Jack's theme. The pan flute. Leso. And the basses have a variation on theme O. To him 13 to 14, Jack's Escape. Scored by Steve Jablonski, starts out with the Legends theme. Commodore Norrings in my effects, please. I might have to. Commodore! The transition into the Escape theme is a mix of the Legends theme and the Escape theme. We, of course, then get our two escape themes, followed by a variation on Jack's theme. At the end, we have more of a mixture of the Legends theme and Escape theme. This will come back later. 2M15, Breaking the Chains, scored by Ramin Javadi. It contains our escape plotting theme. 2M17, Sword Fight 1, scored by Ramin Javadi, opens with the horror-esque version of the escape theme. Pirates. 
and then when the fighting starts it morphs into a combat mode, which means there's just a lot of accented stabs, and the melody is now octatonic. To M18, Sword Fight 2, scored by Ramin Javadi. It opens with our escape theme, followed by a fragmented version of the main theme, which we haven't heard yet in the movie. Under some dialogue, we get that Legends mixed with the skate theme. Then more fighting with Jack's theme that has some extra punctuation to it for a combat feel. And the rest of the queue trades off those themes but there are two measures cut from the music when Will disarms Jack. At the end, we have a variation on the escape theme that sounds somewhat desperate, and that's because it uses the octatonic scale. To M20, the dog is never going to move. Scored by Blake Neely, it opens with a bass line that makes me think of the Moonlight Serenade line. Then we get Les Sodo, 